thank you very much. Uh, as you see, I am a red teamer guy. Uh, from more than 10 years, I am a pen tester. I am breaking stuff, uh, mostly in logical trust. We are doing, of course, web application penetration tests, mobile application penetration tests, external, internal network, and uh, we are testing people too. When uh, you get this together, it's something like red teaming. Uh, of course, we will talk about red teaming attacks today. Uh, all uh, cases are from Poland, from Polish companies, uh, w which is the most important thing uh, from my perspective here, that red teaming is uh, that kind of test where um, we are trying to be as much as possible like cyber criminals, yeah? Because those guys, uh, they're not interested in, uh, I don't know, uh, if your company is uh, compliance with uh, ISO 27001 or your team uh, have, uh, I don't know, CISP uh, certification or something like that. Uh, they want to steal your money. And they want to steal your source code, uh, your IP stuff. So uh, that kind of test, uh, it's... Uh, rather new stuff in Poland, uh, but I believe that uh, we will have uh, much more tests uh, like that in the next years. Of course, the scope here is much wider, yeah? So uh, we have some rules, but uh, for example, uh, usually only a few people knew that uh, the tests are coming. Uh, because in that kind of, that kind of tests, uh, we are trying to see how company react, how employee will uh, do their uh, blue uh, stuff. So uh, we have some rules, but they are, they are uh, completely different than in you know, ordinary penetration tests where we are testing uh, two application in exact version or, or something like that. When we are talking about the phishing, uh, I believe that is the best solution if you are trying to get some kind of money uh, for the security area because uh, you will never fail. Uh, if you will ever, if you will do any kind of tests uh, for your company, uh, I'm sure that you will get some passwords from employees. Uh, it can be dangerous because your colleagues uh, can hate you after all, so you have to be careful. But uh, that's uh, examples of uh, numbers of employees uh, who gave us uh, their passwords from few tests. Uh, I will talk uh, later about this example. It's nice because it's uh, in the 15 minutes we got uh, about 30%. Uh, I will show you why this number was uh, so low here. So uh, I believe that you should try to test your company even in the simplest way uh, to buy uh, you know, the similar domain and try to see how employee uh, will react. Okay, some stories from our tests. Uh, we get uh, two times uh, the guys who, uh, who write down it, it's the nice version of, of uh, the password uh, which we got because uh, the IT guys, uh, they knew that something is wrong, so probably someone is trying to steal uh, the data from the company. Uh, so they were trying to be not so nice to us. They didn't know that uh, it was prepared uh, uh, red teaming tests, uh, so uh, they were thinking that maybe uh, that uh, are some kind uh, of uh, cyber criminals. That's the, the, worst, uh, the worst, worst option uh, if we are talking about incident uh, management, yeah? You should not try to be, uh, you, you should be polite with some, some guys who maybe, uh, you know, get all your passwords uh, a few minutes uh, ago. In the other case, uh, the IT staff uh, was trying to DDoS us. Uh, so they, are, they were sending many, many packets to our uh, phishing uh, websites. Of course, we were in the cloud, so uh, we can uh, rapidly increase uh, our performance. Uh, we made uh, one uh, fail once, because uh, you can use the, you know, CC header or BCC header uh, in that kind of stuff. Uh, the other employee, uh, w when they see the other people from the company, they trust that mail, that mail uh, much more. But in our case, uh, which, were, which was this case from here, a uh, few weeks ago, uh, one woman uh, got married. So she changed the name. And we didn't uh, find it in the recon phase. 
So uh, one guy saw that something is wrong because this girl is using another uh, different uh, email from a few weeks. So uh, it was the case with the running employee. It's uh, something like the best uh, IPS system uh, in the world. It's the guy who, mm, when, when he recognized that some phishing or some kind of attacks, this guy is running around the floors, around the building, and screaming, don't click on this mail, don't click on this mail. So uh, that's strange education, but uh, it, it can work. So this number can be uh, lower. It, it always depends uh, on the company, on the hour, when you are starting uh, to send the emails and etc. cetera. Uh, you have to be careful when you are the blue team, because once uh, the guys uh, in Poland, uh, when they uh, react after after uh, about half an hour, uh, they, uh, they were trying to um, drop our connection on firewall, but they do this only for the Polish uh, part of the company. But we were targeting uh, the few countries, so uh, still we get the passwords from other, uh, from other companies, from other countries. Uh, if you are thinking about the malicious software, any kind of malware, uh, it doesn't matter what they use in, in any kind of case. Uh, you are, the best option, in my opinion, is uh, to be very specific, not sending, you know, 1,000 of, of that same email, but choose, uh, choose some groups, choose some uh, kind of employee. For example, if you know that they like, I don't know, Justin Bieber music, uh, send them the special promo code or uh, promo ticket uh, for the concert or for something like that. It's uh, really uh, high value for, for employee. Of course, in the simplest uh, form, uh, it's, it can be you know, any kind of uh, office file uh, and the people still click on it. Uh, it, it, can be, it should be much more complicated, but still, if you are trying to test your company, you can do it in the simplest way. Uh, you can use some kind of strange uh, font here and the people will, uh, will want to see it. And again, our cases, uh, once uh, the girl had a problem with uh, the attachment, so she forwarded uh, the, our malware to the IT guy. It was the it was, uh, administrator guy, so he clicked on it. So in one uh, email, we got uh, two computers, and uh, one was the uh, administrator staff. Uh, once we found the two antivirus solution on the uh, computer, on the workstation, so it was funny to see the processes that Okay, they are uh, two uh, components who are trying to defend the, the, the host and the network. Uh, once in a few hours, uh, when we got the, the when we when we infected uh, the workstation from a uh, woman from the HR department, in the few hours we get uh, the source code. So the question is uh, how bad uh, the network was separated. In the other kind of test, where we were testing uh, the internet network. Uh, once we found uh, the Quake One server, and we were we were really surprised. Uh, my colleague Mateusz uh, is still playing in this Quake One game, so he was uh, very happy. And after a few hours, few hours, uh, he found the one zero day, uh, who gave him the administrator access, but in the Quake, so he could uh, kick the players or change the map. And after next few hours. Uh, he found the other zero days and uh, zero day, and from this uh, from this administrator in the quake, we ran the code on the server. And after all, uh, we found some uh, LDAP configuration error errors, and we get uh, to the other backend servers. And after all, we get the whole information from uh, from the company, even with the VPN access to the to their internal network. In other case. Uh, we started from uh, some kind of CMS. We didn't have any kind of uh, credentials. Brute force uh, doesn't work, so uh, we called the company who produced the CMS and uh, we asked them about uh, the demo uh, of this product. And with this data, uh, it was much easier. We found some vulnerabilities in the web application uh, from uh, from the web application, we found on the backend uh, some kind of uh, really, really simple password. From that, we found uh, a redundant resource. There was uh, some kind of virtual machine image. Uh, so we download, downloaded it. It was about uh, four gigabytes of data. And 
there we found some passwords. Uh, we cracked them and uh, they used the same passwords on other Windows server machines. And we realized that they are using some kind of uh, schema of uh, password creation. So after a few, uh, few tries, we get the admin uh, on the AD. And uh, we realized that, okay, with this uh, access, we can click to uh, log into a VMware and authenticate with AD. Uh, so we, we take over here more than 100 of servers. If, uh, we, are, uh, if we are talking about uh, some kind of physical security, uh, of course, we have a lot of stuff here. It depends what we are trying to uh, use, what kind of assessments are you doing. Uh, I will tell you some, some stories from that kind of physical uh, red teaming stuff. The most important thing, I believe, is that you should be really, really prepared. You have to um, use some kind of, uh, of course, fake stories. Uh, you have to use fake business cards and etc. Uh, in one company, uh, I was uh, walking uh, upstairs on some kind of uh, external uh, staircase and uh, I was going with, with a big backpack uh, with, with some uh, smartphone and I was trying to uh, test the Wi-Fi network and I was, uh, you, you know, taking uh, the packets, Wi-Fi packets and checking the signal, level of the signal and in that particular case uh, one guy was going down and asked me, stop, what are you doing here? Why you are here? It's strange, no one is going by these stairs. But I was well prepared and I told him that you know, in the, that building you have many offices uh, of some company and uh, the quality of uh, GSM network is very low. So we are from the external company. We are, uh, we are me measuring some kind of uh, quality of the signal because uh, the, this company wants to add some new antennas, uh, probably not the, the, this problem. And, and he's, he answered, yeah, yeah, of course, it's really bad quality signal inside the building. Uh, and of course, after all, we meet on some kind of uh, Finnish meeting and we were joking that he didn't uh, realize that we were uh, the guys who were trying to break some stuff. Uh, when we are talking about the access control system, I will tell you uh, two cases. Uh, we are talking about companies where you should use some kind of RFID cards to get into the uh, office to the company. And uh, of course, like in every kind of, uh, especially red teaming stuff, uh, this uh, recon phase is, is the crucial. So you have to do really, uh, really do really good job in your uh, recon phase. And when you will do it, it will be much easier to take over almost everything. And in the one uh, uh, case, we realized that uh, in the building, if, uh, even if you want to use uh, the elevators, you have to have the, the, that kind of cards. But uh, after, after a few days of uh, reconnaissance, we realized that there is a one company uh, on the one floor when you can get the access without this, uh, without this uh, special cards. So we went there and uh, we are trying to you know, walk by the building everywhere, so we found that it's possible to go downstairs uh, with, with the uh, you know, staircase and we can open the door from the staircase to the, to the corridor near the uh, office area. And they were using these RFID cards and again, we spent uh, some time to check how they are using it. Uh, and uh, it was really simple because we can use here some kind of social engineering technique because early morning, uh, every about uh, 30, 60 minutes, uh, some employee uh, was g going into the company and uh, the reception was uh, without any kind of uh, people at early morning. So uh, I went uh, behind that person and uh, usually they uh, don't see really anything. They were uh, going really fast only, uh, you know, beep the RFID card and they were going to the offices. I will tell you uh, how it finished uh, in the next uh, slides. And in the other case, uh, I was doing some kind of recon part, so I didn't have uh, every kind of tool set which I can use. 
Uh, but I have only a few devices, like for example, LandTurtle, prob probably you know it, it's a small computer. Uh, and in the recon phase, when I was uh, doing some kind of hidden photos, uh, hidden videos, uh, I realized that one door uh, were not, not closed. Uh, and of course, I was thinking, okay, it's uh, the office time, it's, uh, it's the recon, but maybe you know, I will be lucky, we will see. So uh, I got in, uh, to one um, room, and I will tell you what will uh, be later. From this uh, first example, uh, I was in some kind of office space. Uh, I was uh, I was there with the other people who were in the other uh, rooms, so I didn't have too much time. So I found to you know alternate uh, socket. And in the second, uh, I uh, see that I got uh, the connection from the LandTurtle. So I hide this, uh, this device, of course, and I put it uh, near, the, near some shelves, and uh, it gives us some kind of reverse uh, connection to the internal network from the internet. And, and of course, I silently uh, go out from this company, and after the few days, uh, they still didn't uh, realize that we are in the internal company, that they, they, they have that kind of plug. So this recon uh, lucky moment was really mm, good for us. And uh, once uh, when uh, I went after this, uh, behind this, this employee, I turned left to the meeting room and I sit, sit there, I turn off the lights, I open my uh, computer, because I was trying to, you know, to look uh, confident, to look like the guy who is waiting for someone. Um, of course, I have some kind of um, uh, papers with some kind of marketing bullshit stuff, uh, uh, which I can show if someone will ask. And uh, uh, the, um, the rules here was that I have only two hours to see what I can do. So uh, I was trying uh, first, of course, to connect to the network with uh, the, the, the first cable, which was for the guests, but uh, this network was isolated. I didn't have access to any kind of internal uh, network stuff. So uh, I was trying to figure out what I can do more, uh, and I was walking by the room, uh, and I found uh, some kind of devices which was, to, which was used to uh, teleconference. So uh, I get the cables from this uh, teleconference uh, system. Uh, I uh, plug into my uh, computer and I realize that, okay, I am in completely different VLAN uh, and I had uh, access to the internal servers. So it was really nice. Uh, I stole a few things uh, in the next hour. And uh, at the end, uh, I uh, found uh, one computer. This computer was to uh, probably to you know to present some kind of slides, uh, and uh, I was interested in what I can do. I had only 10 or 15 minutes, so uh, I uh, cloned the Mac from this computer because I you know connect uh, the both computers, and I cloned this Mac and I connect uh, this first cable which I test Arial with this cloned Mac of this computer, and again. I, get the, get the, I got the access to uh, internal uh, network with uh, all workstation. So, uh, the last story. The last story is about some kind of uh, server room in uh, the company, company where uh, they told us that it's impossible to get there uh, because it's inside the office. Uh, it's really like the, the castle, so it was like, you know, mission impossible. Uh, and, uh, kind of uh, social engineering uh, techniques will uh, fail probably because uh, they train red teaming stuff every year. So we are trying to think completely different. And uh, we found a guy who was in their uh, server rooms about a few months ago because he was some kind of guy uh, from uh, the company who was servicing the power lines to these uh, server rooms. So we found the guy, uh, we hired him, uh, we told him the story, of, cor of course we paid him. Uh, we tell him that, okay, we will pay you more if you will get you know, the pictures from the server's room. 
that uh, you will show us and the company that it's possible to go there and for example to put uh, rubber ducky in your uh, USB uh, plug to uh, take over some servers, yeah? Because it's, it's unusual, uh, but uh, you can do this uh, too. So uh, he agreed uh, and uh, he, go, he went to the, um, the owner of the building, some kind of uh, security officers, because they, uh, he, know, he know them. And uh, he asked the one guy from the building, maybe uh, he can go with him. Yeah? So uh, he looks much more, uh, much more confident uh, from the company perspective. Of course, we choose the day where the main uh, IT admin guy uh, was on some kind of uh, holiday. Uh, it was from the recon phase, of course. And uh, he was trying to convince uh, the people inside uh, with some kind of junior IT guys that uh, he's, uh, you know, from not our city. He uh, have to do this kind of work. It's very important. And he's here with this guy from the building. So uh, they should trust him. And it took about 15 minutes uh, and, and at general they uh, got in. Yeah? So uh, it was another example that uh, if you are uh, trying uh, really hard, always uh, you will get in. And uh, at, at the summary, uh, you should always realize, I believe that if you are here, you know it, yeah? that, that today, Everything is possible, so uh, try, try to increase the cost of attackers because it can slow down there, them. Uh, and what is funny here that security is a process where we realize that uh, when we are trying to test any kind of companies who are uh, making a red teaming test, uh, every year it's uh, some kind of harder. Yeah? So, so it works. That kind of, that, that kind of uh, really, uh, really old uh, sentence. In our case, uh, always uh, after, of course, some kind of report, after some kind of uh, summary, we are giving the um, employees some kind of uh, uh, education platform. And what's the most important here, and I believe that you should do it in your companies too, if you are working in the blue team, uh, you should do some kind of presentation for the employees. Now you should talk uh, how uh, some companies uh, hacked us, yeah? some, uh, you can show the land turtle, you can show them uh, rubber ducky yeah? or similar devices. It always works. They are very surprised and it, that's the best way of uh, education. Because in the next few weeks in the social rooms, uh, they will discuss. They will discuss about this, you know, interesting uh, kind of uh, security test like red teaming case. So uh, I really believe that uh, it can uh, really increase uh, your uh, line of defense. And uh, at the end, some kind of uh, few last words. Uh, of course, uh, the blue teams, uh, they have really hard work, yeah? We know it. It's uh, really uh, easy to be, uh, you know, in the red trousers and then to attack the companies. Uh, it's really hard work. Uh, a lot of stuff uh, they have to do, they have to learn. So only, only, the few important things. I believe that here, this middle part is uh, the crucial. Uh, any kind of training which you can do in your companies is, is really uh, important. Of course, uh, like uh, we saw in the last, uh, last presentation, some kind of uh, correlation of uh, logs is important too, especially today when, when we have uh, really a lot of data from you know, all, the, uh, all the systems. If you are some kind of bigger company, maybe you had some staff uh, to the forensic, maybe you can hire the you know, external company. Uh, of course, old staff, which I'm talking from more than 10 years, uh, updates your, your vulnerabilities and updates your software. And uh, again, try, uh, you should try to slow down the attackers, yeah? Because it, it, it gives you a time, it, it gives you a, uh, maybe possibility to detect them earlier. Uh, or if they are not, uh, if you are not in some kind of targeted targeted attack, uh, maybe uh, you know they will jump into the other target. At uh, the end, some kind of other uh, our videos from the conferences, and if you are interested in 
our uh, technical trainings uh, from web application penetration test or mobile, there is a discount for you. Uh, you can use it uh, and maybe you will see me on some kind of training. Thank you for your attention very much. Of course, if you have any kind of question, I'll re I will try to, lie you, uh, to answer. Uh, that kind of tests are very sensitive uh, and of course beside of uh, many many lines uh, in the contracts uh, which are you know prepared by the lawyer of course uh, you have to be always prepared uh, with some kind of emergency plan uh, even if you are doing that kind of physics stuff uh, we are always we have always one guy in the company who knows that in that particular time we are there yeah because you know uh, some guys from the company uh, can think that we are stealing the stuff or something like that yeah we are from poland so uh, we are in poland and from poland so you know everyone can think that someone is stealing something yeah we don't know this guy so you always uh, should have some kind of uh, emergency plan and uh, usually we are in the strict communication with the one person uh, one person who knows what we are doing that for example in that particular time uh, we are doing some kind of I don't know recon on the internet site so uh, less people know uh, about our, our stuff but but it's yeah it's, it's crucial it's it's uh, it's always some kind of risk yeah that uh, I don't know they will call police or something like that we know uh, one case uh, from the other company who is uh, doing her teaming test that after all, when they, you know, completely breached the company, uh, the main boss of the company told that uh, I didn't know that it was a test because, of course, he clicked on something, and we will not pay you. So, of course, probably I don't know. They will finish in the carter or something like that. Yeah.